Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to continue with our program design. We are going to have some kettlebell, two-hand club, and single arm club. This is kind of my favorite format, and this is the format that I use the absolute most. This is now video number four in this series, so go back and watch all the previous videos and this will make a lot more sense. What we had in our last video was swing, clean and press, Turkish get up, squat, single arm club. What we are gonna do now is we are going to keep these as fundamental programs, but we are going to pull out two of these kettlebell activities in order to put in two hand club activities. The ones that we're gonna pull are the squat and the Turkish get up because both of these things will be covered very intensively in the two-handed club program that I tend to do. Two-handed club program that I do is 28 minutes long. It's got about 10 levels of complexity. You know, there's about 70 movements in it, and then you run up through the various weights. It is an intense program, and level one and two aren't so bad, but level three and four and up, everything is a leg exercise. So what we are gonna pull is the squats, out of here and we are going to pull the Turkish get-ups because the Turkish get-ups will be taken over by club gun get-ups. What that means is that we are going to shift this clean and press back underneath this swing over here. So now we have our swing light, swing heavy, clean and press heavy, clean and press light. I consider the clean and press to be the absolute most important thing that you can work on fundamentally with a kettlebell because it's very fundamental. If you're not good at clean and press, it's very hard to be good at everything else. If you're not good at swings, everything else gets pretty hard. So we are gonna take our two-handed club and we are going to put it in on these days. If we have our swing, which is we're gonna keep around 10 minutes and we have our clean and press, and our clean and press, depending on what part of the math you're in, is gonna be 10 to 20 minutes at its longest. That's 30 minutes plus warm up plus cool down. You're looking at about 40 minutes. With our two-handed club program, our two-handed club program is 30 minutes long. It's an awful 30 minutes. It's extremely challenging. This is once again, more challenging on the hands than it is on the heart because kettlebells can be much heavier than clubs. A 50 pound kettlebell is an intermediate weight. A 50 pound club is god awfully heavy. Most companies only make up to a 45 pound club. So most kettlebell companies make up to a 48K kettlebell. The weights do not translate directly. If you're starting a two-handed club program, you're probably gonna start with the 15, run the 15, the 20, and the 25. And if you get above the 25, then you're doing pretty good. Higher level athletes will definitely push higher than that, but we always wanna start with light weights first to develop the technique because clubs are far less forgiving technique-wise than kettlebells are. If you mess up with a 45-pound club, you'll definitely know it and you might need physical therapy. So we don't wanna do that. Well, now we have this three-day wave here. This is easier on the hands, but harder on the heart. The overall weight on your skeleton is heavier. The two-handed club program is an intermediate. It is heavy on the hands and intermediate on the heart. This is still a savage heart program from the way I design it, but other people will design it differently. And our single arm club day is the low intensity on the heart, but long sets. So this is a wave that works out extremely, extremely, extremely well. This is the most effective thing that I've come across. There are a lot of other ways to do this, but we tend to push people into kettlebells first because they are the easiest things to learn six basic movement patterns with. And we can jack up the weight in a very mathematical way, which is very controlled for the least amount of money put into equipment, which allows us to get the best overall effect. Here we start building much greater amounts of complexity and rotational movement. Once again, I focus my kettlebells on front to back, heaving and pitching. Pitching, if you think about the nose of a plane, pitching up and down. When you're in a swing, you pitch forward and back and heaving moving straight up and down. Every time you do a clean, you are moving up and down. When you do a press, you are moving a weight up and down. When we get into our two-handed club, we're doing a lot less of that. We are still doing a lot of heaving, 
but we are doing a lot of rolling of the spine and we are doing a lot of yawing of the spine. Yaw, yaw, yeah, yaw. I think yaw is the right one I'm, I'm thinking of. Yaw is kind of the most important thing that you're going to get when you're training clubs, is that side to side lateral rotational movement and we have about 70 versions of that that we work on in order to get really good at rotational movement. Our single arm club then breaks it down and gets rid of that support hand so that we are now training both sides of our body to be equal in strength and rotation. You always train to the weak side first and match it with the strong side. You never want one side to be stronger than the other. That's how people get hurt. Ballistic rotation always can mess people up and people always have a bad side. We've talked about that in many other videos, so we're just gonna keep talking about it. Sunday is still kept as a complete recovery day. You could move this anywhere in the week and you could break this up any other way you want. This is the way that tends to work the best for clients, especially on movie sets, one day completely off a week where we don't do anything. You eat food, you recover, you sleep as much as you can, and you read your script and try and prep for the rest of the week. And then this, super intense, medium intensity, light intensity, and roll that back and forth. So this gets into our concept of heavy, medium, and light. We will talk about this in the future being just an all kettlebell program, which would be heavy, medium, and light but this is kind of my favorite version of programming that we have. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.